Before we get started guys, I want to take a minute to just thank our new sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. They're currently celebrating their second birthday. That's right, it's been two years since Raid burst onto the scene and completely took over mobile gaming. And since then, they've only gotten bigger and better. Currently sitting at the number one position for RPGs in the US with over a million players every day and over two billion battles. So if you're into dark fantasy role playing games with awesome, tense and close battles that allow you to grind and earn all kinds of new gear, then Raid Shadow Legends is the game for you. I've had a great time playing the game. I particularly enjoy the funny commentary and the cutscenes, like when dragons climb into the fight right when you thought the battle was over and they eat one of your champions. And don't forget that Raid offers a PvP environment where you can fight other real people like yourself and really test your champion and your skills. This month being Raid's second anniversary, the schedule is absolutely packed with amazing events. They've got six straight weeks of anniversary events and tournaments running from March 1st all the way through to the middle of April, all of them with insane prizes to win. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the video description or scan the QR code you're seeing right now. You'll get your free champion, 100k silver, 50 gems, and three ancient shards so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. Look at this cool champion you're gonna get for free just for jumping into the game. Raid wants to reach out and thank all of its awesome players, all the songs and competitions, cosplays, and the good times, and all of the content creators helping the player community. There's never been a better time to start playing. Come join the party and celebrate with Raid and get in on the third year of battles, mayhem, and fun. Alright, here we go guys. We are over an Iraqi air defense site here. I think there's three or four SA-3 sites and uh, four MiG-25s and two MiG-21s. We'll go ahead and tell Jester here to drop tanks. Roger that. I've got some dirt. 12 o'clock. When a fighter jet drops its tanks, it's like when you uh, take your shirt off before a fight. It's got the same vibe. So don't forget to drop your tanks, kids. So here we go. We are facing off against four MiG-25s and two MiG-21s. And we are over an Iraqi air defense site. So situational awareness is going to be key because we're going to be completely yeah, outnumbered. And we're getting locked. Trying to get as okay, close to Mach 1 as I can six, here. Uh, there's a bandit two ship bra. 22 miles. Whoa, I got dirt at one o'clock. Okay, we got missile in the air. Alright, Fox 3. Fox 3 again. Oh shit, we got mud. One o'clock. 
Okay, two missiles off. Those are two phoenixes. And we'll go ahead and do a little loop here. In order to avoid those incoming missiles. Got one. Missiles are coming in. Thank you, Jester. So you hear a lot that the F-14 was an interceptor and not a dogfighter. Uh, this could not be more uh, wrong, in my opinion. There's a lot of evidence to tell you that the F-14 was a dual mission fighter. Here we are still avoiding this missile. We're going to turn back around and get another Phoenix off here. Um, things like that, the fact that the F-14 had 360 visibility out of the cockpit. Um, it's got maneuvering flaps, it's got a gun. Like these are all pretty good indicators that it was never designed to just be an interceptor. And we're gonna try to show that off here today that it's actually a great dogfighter. Fox 3 on this guy. And here we go, another lock here, Fox 3 again. So that's all my Phoenixes, which I'm more than happy about. I wanna get the weight off. Okay, missile launch. We have a bandit, fish bed, five o'clock high, one mile. Let's right, okay, splash five. another one. Missile, 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 ten o'clock. All right, fish bed right here on our six. The bandit is down. Spike, right, first turn into five o'clock. Five o'clock. Spike, three o'clock. Missile, one o'clock. Hot. We have a bogey, fox bat, two o'clock. There are all two kinds miles. of missiles being Spike, fired right now. Whoa. Seven o'clock. Spike, eleven o'clock. Bogey, MiG-25, 5 o'clock, 4 miles, splash, 4 o'clock high, shit, get rid of him, he's right behind us, 8 o'clock high. Jester's losing his shit a little bit here, <laughs> we're alright, everything's gonna be fun, buddy. Fox bat, 11 o'clock high, closing. You gotta give this MiG-25 some uh, credit here. He knew he couldn't turn with a Tomcat, but he can outrun a Sidewinder missile. That looks like it's tracking. Splash. Alright, good kill. We got another guy, 9 o'clock low. There he is. Fish bed. Let's take him into the right fight here.
That MiG-21 tried to lure me into a SAM site. It's actually kind of a smart tactic there, but here we are. We're defending against him now by raid fighting. His missiles can't turn, so as long as I can turn, I can outturn him, uh, his missiles can't touch me. And you can see here, I pretty much outrated him. A little bit too slow in the F-14 here, and he selects for the vertical. I've got a fox bet on our six, which we can also defend by just turning. Um, neither one of these aircraft can really turn with the Tomcat. And so these are all reasons why the Tomcat was very much designed to dogfight. Like, why would you make an interceptor with maneuvering flaps? Why would you make an interceptor with 360 degree vision? Here we go, we're going to lock this guy up in the vertical. Fox 2. Splash Mig. Alright, there's still a... There's a Fox bat around here still. Singer, one o'clock. Six o'clock. There he is. So the MiG-25, once it gets into a merge with a Tomcat, it's a uh, game over. It doesn't stand a chance. Um, short of the Tomcat making, you know, critical mistakes, losing, losing visual, that kind of stuff. Uh, right here, here we go. Fox 2. And that'll... That's gonna happen. Splash. Alright. So four MiG-25s and two MiG-21. Not really a huge problem for the Tomcat. Alright guys, quick little TACV review here. Go ahead and fast forward. Um, so there's the dropping of the tanks and you see we have SA-3 sites all around us and we have our MiG-25s and MiG-21s off in front. Um, here they are spreading uh, formation out here and we get two Phoenix missiles off. These ones are in TWS, uh, locked up by Jester. And then we're gonna dive away because we have the uh, SAM sites as well firing. Uh, I believe, yeah, these are radar guided as well, so I'm um, getting RWRs for all of this. Um, diving away and um, dropping chaff as we go. Chaff not really going to be super effective, um, so I'm just going to, it's just not reliable, you know. So I would rather turn away and bleed the missiles for energy and uh, go ahead and recommit here. And let's look at these Phoenix missiles. Let's get a little rid of labels just so we can clean it up a little bit. Um, we can see that the first Phoenix missile hits a Fox bat. And the second one misses. All right. Now remember that the other thing I'm trying to do here is get rid of the weight. So I really need both of these Phoenix missiles that are left on me to go. And so I'm going to turn around recommit Fox 3 which uh, smokes this guy. That's a MiG-21. And then this one, we'll come back and look at this. This one smokes this Fox bat. <laughs> and uh, Phoenix missiles from under 10 miles, I believe these would have been. Um, still hits him at Mach 3 as he's running away. So the Phoenix missile is quite dangerous and it can really even the odds for you in this situation. 
Um, now here I am flares out after burner off and that missile just can't really turn with me. And we have this MiG-21 who um, shoots outside the turn circle and I try to reverse the turn onto him and maneuver in relation to him in a one circle, but um, I got all these other missiles getting fired at me, so I kind of got to defend everything. And at this point, we're down to two Fox Bats and a MiG-21. And so really, I found the best defense here is to just keep turning. Um, as long as you keep turning, it's going to be very difficult for the Fox Bats to get fire solutions. And any missile that's fired isn't really going to be maneuverable enough to hit you, um, theoretically. Um, Fox 2 off at this guy. It's not that you're unkillable if you keep turning, it's just, you know, your chances are a little bit better. Um, so we just killed this fox bat, and this is the fight with the MiG-21 here, um, where I'm just trying to keep him in the uh, two-circle fight. Um, he's using vertical. I'm trying just to not get too slow, because if I get too slow, I could be vulnerable to a fox 2 from the, the fox bat, uh, sorry, fox bat, or... Uh, I think they're only carrying radar guided, but whatever. The point is if I get slow, his missile can hit me. So I'm trying to keep energy up a little bit. And so this guy actually lures me in to the SAM site here. And you can see that this SA-3 takes a shot at me. And so I have to abandon the MiG and I'm just gonna start defending this thing. And look at this, it's Mach 1.3 and I'm Mach 0.7. diving away into thicker air and forcing that missile to turn and then it just explodes behind me and you can see it gets so close I think the closest it gets is 366 feet which is really close and then now it's just too slow at Mach 8.2 and I'm 8.5 so I just outrun that thing And then the MiG takes a Fox 2 shot right here, which you have to cut burner, flares, and pull up. And that thing passes within 44 feet of me, which is really close. And then we keep defending against the uh, MiG-21 here. And we defend against the MiG-21 simply by getting back into the um, raid fight with him and he can't keep up, he can't get his nose around, he just can't turn with an F-14, so it's actually a very effective uh, defensive maneuver against the MiG-21, is simply to raid fight him. And let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. We finally get him into the vertical, and he's really slow up here, and Fox 2 will hit him. And then we're left with just this Fox Bat, And F-14 can out turn a fox bat, so nothing too crazy here. Fox 2, dead fox bat. All right, so yeah, it's not so hard in the F-14. The F-14 is very capable. And this is one of the things that we're talking about in the video. The F-14 is a dual mission fighter. Um, lots of evidence to support that fantastic dogfighter on top of that it's an interceptor with the aim 54 Phoenix so you know the f-14 very much a remarkable aircraft for its time all right guys thank you for watching the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye guys